Good morning, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to talk about this Olympus CX43 microscope. This one's configured for phase contrast and it's going out to a, a end user. So we're going to help them out a little bit with this video and kind of show them uh, the basic how-to on this scope. So Mike's going to come in here and we're going to talk about the scope. We have a trinocular head. The trinocular head has three positions, 100% position to the eyepieces. This splits the light between the eyepieces and the camera tube. And this is 100% light to the camera tube. It has two 10X by 22 millimeter field of view eyepieces. This side has a diopter and a fixed eyepiece. This side, we have a focusable eyepiece on there. Sometimes this, this can be fixed, but this customer wanted a focusable eyepiece on this side. The inner pupillary distance moves very nicely. Then we have um, a mondaymicroscope.com sticker. That's a must here. We have three phase rings, or excuse me, three phase objectives on this as requested by the client, and they upgraded to fluorites. We have a um, 10X Uplam fluorite phase 10, a phase 40X Uplam fluorite, and a phase 100X. So each one of these objectives correspond to a different phase ring within the condenser. You can see this one says phase one, pH one. This one says pH two. This one says pH three. That's very important because we're gonna step down here to the condenser and this condenser on these CXs is pretty cool. It has a lot of built-in stops. So we have a standard bright field stop we have a 2X stop if you wanted to put a 2X on this and field the field. If you didn't have this stop in and a 2X objective lens in, the field would not be completely full. So that's a really sweet feature on this scope. You have a dark field stop, a phase three, which will correspond to the 100X, a phase two, pH two, which will correspond to the 40X, and a phase one, which will correspond to the 10X. We have made sure the phase rings are aligned on this scope. And um, then we have a, a rheostat right here, which is how you control the light intensity. Another thing on this scope, we'll look at the back, has a five volt power supply for the LED. And then we have a tension ring right here. It's inside the course knob. Mike's gonna zoom in here and we're gonna show this. This right here, if your scope is drifting, so in other words, if this is rolling without your hand on it, without turning the knob, sometimes you need to tighten this ring up on the in, inside, turn it towards the wall and it'll correct that issue. Um, that's basically it on this scope. This is a great uh, little durable microscope. Uh, Customers seem to really like it. And um, if you have any questions about this scope or any other microscope, especially for clinical use, you can call us at 919-775-5596. You can also email us at info at mondaymicroscope.com. That's Monday with a U. If you're looking at buying any of the parts on this scope, including this microscope, you can find it at microscopemarketplace.com. And if this video brought you value, please like and subscribe. Thanks.